One of the greatest challenges we face with sustainable development, especially systemically sustainable development, um, is economic maturity, um, economic viability, and the ability to create something that is economically sustainable. In the larger programs, um, in what seem, what may seem at least like a, a converse logic or an inverse logic is the larger the programs are, the more economically sustainable they are. Um, and that can be done without the, without the added cost of, of environmental degradation or, or social, um, social disruption. But in order to facilitate the early phases, we're, we are looking at small-scale sustainable development that actually require outside investors. Um, I've got a little piece here from the marketing team for this one, but it's basically a tech-free um, virtual escape, literal escape, um, to, to deserted islands, um, diving, water adventures, um, jet skis, diving, fishing, camping in deserted islands, or in what conservation.org says is the most diverse coral reef ecosystem in the world, um, luxury resorts. So, you know, I mean, it, it provides a viable opportunity also for people wanting tech-free vacations to get their kids away from cell phones. Um, for corporations looking for corporate retreats, for team building activities, um, especially for people looking for corporate retreats that are tech free. Um, the focus is on the purchase of an island here in the Philippines. And we have patented construction technology that can be utilized to, to mitigate any potential damage from the typhoons. Uh, all the electronic systems would be automated, the electric systems, um, generators, they, they would be on site and out of sight, out of mind, but we have special considerations in that regards as well for other disruptive technologies. Um, and as a testing ground for certain technologies that we may fund in the future for commercial development and commercial enterprises that will continue to fund the expansion of the, the humanitarian efforts and the, the systemically sustainable path forward to human growth and development. This is what I've got from the marketing team, so this is what I'm going to put out there. Uh, it, it, forgive me if it sounds hyperbolic, but, you know, I'm the guy sitting in the basement. I'm not the company face, so um, this is from the marketing team, but I'm not advertising this. I'm just looking for investors and trying to introduce a means to accomplish the set goals. But this is, this is their proposal for an ad. Imagine escaping every day, the constant hum of technology, the relentless demands... Imagine waking up to the sound of gentle waves and the rustle of palm trees. Welcome to Ideal Vacations, your getaway to exclusive, adventurous, and luxurious experiences on remote island destinations. We offer sustainable commercial developments designed to preserve the nature, natural beauty of these pristine environments. At Ideal Vacations, sustainability is at the core of everything we do. Our developments utilize innovative technologies and local materials to minimize in our environmental footprint. They also integrate food forest, uh, piggeries, side note, uh, yeah, I'm off script. Um, they also, I mean, they are fully sustainable. The island location that we've selected would be established as a fully self-sustaining location, viable even, you know, in terms of natural disaster, global conflict, um, you know, the zombie apocalypse, whatever, it would, it would remain viable. Um, Okay, back on their script, their marketing script. At Ideal Vacation, sustainability is at the core of everything we do. Our developments utilize innovative technologies, disruptive technologies, but anyhow, and local materials to minimize our environmental footprint. Immerse yourself in the natural real world, reconnect with yourself and your loved ones, disconnect from the digital world, and reconnect with the real world. 
Whether you seek adventure, relaxation, or a unique corporate retreat experience, Ideal Vacation has something for everyone. Experience tech-free corporate, tech-free, uh, okay, tech-free corporate retreats, sustainable living vacations, deserted island camping, fishing and water sports, and scuba diving adventures. Um, are you an investor passionate about sustainable development and living? Join us in creating a future of responsible tourism and preserving these island paradises for generations to come. Visit our website or contact us today. Actually, we don't have a website right now, which is why I'm putting this out. To learn more about investment opportunities, um, invest in paradise, invest in sustainability, invest in ideal vacations. And again, the idea is this is a lead-in, but um, nobody's going to invest without a positive t return. So this is, this project, which I will deem it a project, despite the fact that there's numerous projects within it, um, is a gateway for larger scale commercial developments. Um, it allows us the opportunity to introduce disruptive technologies into real world environments, which um, potentially open the door for PPP projects that are worth literally billions of dollars that we can utilize um, to fund further programs or, and, well, and to pay off the investors. If we get venture capitalists, you know, for long term returns, there is a viable end game. For angel investors, um, we're probably looking at an equity capital return. For capital investors, capital return would not be an issue once the marketing took hold. We would market in all the existing resorts. Um, in throughout Metro Manila, um, in all the larger cities of the Philippines, we would advertise our market. Um, we would also do heavy online marketing and introduce our programs to the U.S. Um, and the Japanese markets, which are, um, and the Korean markets, actually. The U.S., Japanese, and Korean markets, all of which are, are popular demographics for Filipino travel. So this, again, is just a door opener and something to provide a solid, viable return for investors. If you're interested, please let us know. Thank you.